Welcome to Ask Gwen, everyone. And I hope that you guys don't hear a loud moving truck as we record this interview because <laughs> my next door neighbors have been moving the past three days. Yeah. And so you might hear a loud moving truck slash I hope my internet doesn't go down in the middle of recording this interview. Yes, I had that happen this morning, too. So I just hope that all the internet heebie-jeebies and moving truck heebie-jeebies are out of there so I can get space and quiet with Milani. Milani and I met, I don't know now, over 10 years ago because she was doing social media stuff and she was also doing a cool program at the time. She doesn't do it anymore on Google Hangouts, and I was a guest on it twice, and so that's how Melanie and I met. But now she does more WordPress websites because life changes, and life just changes, and social media changes a thousand miles a minute, and she got burnt out. Doing so, doing social media work, and at the time of the economic class, like I did, she lost her full-time income, and so she decided to become a social media slash wood class wizard slash angel, and so I'm going to let Miss Milani take it away. Thanks, Wynn. Gosh, I can't believe it's been so long already. Wow. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. No. I, it out. I was like, wow, that's true. And uh, you, were, you were on my show several times, a um, couple times as a guest, but you also joined in often just as a, a, a participant, which was awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, you really, you really hit the nail right on the head there what, with what happened. I was doing so much of that social media stuff and with the TGIS business networking hangout, the um, it just it just is twenty four seven as you know with social media. It never turns off and it's constant promotion and I just got really burnt out and I started feeling anxiety and you know, I hit a certain age as well <laughs> where yeah. um, where that becomes sort of a, a, a common issue with women in particular. So the combination of the two wasn't good, and I found myself having to change my focus uh, to pretty much save my sanity. Um, so now I'm doing a lot more editing of uh, books for authors, which is my favorite thing to do, and as you mentioned, creating WordPress websites. Uh, but what I really do is actually I still use Google Hangouts. I just don't broadcast anything, but I meet with my clients, and I teach them actually how to use WordPress. So we'll get on a Hangout together. I'll have my client share their screen, and then I'll guide them through the process of creating a WordPress website for themselves. WordPress is very easy to use. It's user-friendly, and it's really good for my clientele, which tends to lean towards uh, beginners and older folks. Uh, I, I think well, you may remember I live in the Palm Springs area, so there's a lot of uh, older folks here, retired folks here, and yeah. they like a good patient teacher, and beginners do as well. <laughs> they do. And, and they like they having a teacher closer to their age. They do. Um, no, I. it's so funny because I um, have to teach my stepmom, and I had to teach my biological mom, and now I have to teach my dad all about all about technology because they didn't grow up a wizard. So now I, the next right. generation of millennials has to be the teachers to the baby movers. And believe it or not, yeah. I have, um, since the last time we talked, I was the social media queen myself. I gave up Facebook due to, um, well, personally family reasons, but more to the extent of Cambridge, Cambridge Analytica, when they were selling data and Facebook was in the news, I'm like, nope, nope. And I also gave up my mailing list 
um, because of GDPR, the European um, crackdown, and I'm – so now I hang out on Twitter. Now I hang out on Twitter. You guys can find me on Twitter because Melani's fight it was suppo- – social media was supposed to be fun, but to an extent, it got too much. It got too much, and yeah. my brain was, like, not <laughs> not happening. Not happening. Plus, yeah. Facebook – was sucking um, battery power off my phone. I don't have the Facebook app on my phone. I slash deleted my Facebook account because I'm like, it's too much. It's too much. So that was my first question. When people are listening to this podcast and they're thinking, oh, Melania and Wynn are now saying social media is too much, how do we, and I hate to be the teacher, but I will be, how do we get <laughs> these kids away from screen time, Milani? I mean, you and I both experienced the same thing. We've experienced too much stimulation on social media, and you were getting anxiety to attack God knows what I was getting, I was probably getting CP chronic pain from being <laughs> on social media. And Milani's laughing. At you know, the, the, the truth. That's a great. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to laugh at you, but it's such a good question, ah, and okay. it's really interesting because I've actually been reading so many articles lately about how anxiety is on the rise in general, and not just with older folks like me. But with younger kids, my friend was just telling me about um, one of her young coworkers whose kindergarten child is suffering from anxiety, and I, I fully, I fully think that them growing. I, I think we're seeing some of the results of you know 25 years later after the internet came out and uh, we're all online now and we're just constantly bombarded with stimulus without it ever turning off. So I think it's really important that people make time to turn off a little bit. You know, do a little bit of meditation, do a little bit of um, relaxation, breathing techniques. I find that's been really, really helpful. But I, I, I really do believe it has to do with that non ever-ending stimulation. Now, you know, I'm not going to say social media is bad. I haven't turned around to that. Um, But I think we need to keep it in perspective and be aware of the doses in which we take it and how it affects us and use it wisely. Um, I I understand the whole Facebook issue. I actually do like Twitter better, too. Uh, but I am back on Facebook. I, I don't pay a lot of attention to my social chat much anymore. I've been doing more word of mouth networking and stuff. Um, yeah. But yeah. And, oh, and I signed up. I and, and I found some nice online sources. I signed up to be a tutor on wiseant.com. That's w-y-z-a-n-t dot com, and that's been really helpful because now, as an online tutor. On Wyvant, it's the service that connects people looking for tutors to tutors looking for students. So I'm not the one going out there doing all my own socials to find those students. I'm just going in, I'm signing up, making sure I've got a really good profile on Wyvant, giving my um, my skills there, and they're bringing the students. So I sign in, and uh, every day I look at, oh, look, these students are looking for what your subjects are because they match you up and I contact the students and make a hello. Now I've only been in there a couple of days and I already got one uh, inquiry with a potential student. Well, congratulations so, on that. Yeah, thanks. So that's been really nice um, and I'm looking forward to, to doing more of that. Yeah. Now, we're not, um, we're not turning social media off completely. Melania and I will always 
be on social media. I <laughs> think the other day we die. But yeah, I think so. <laughs> to back it off a little, we're saying to back it off. You know, I went on, uh, I gave up sugar after I gave up Facebook, and I haven't been on Facebook since. I deleted my Facebook off my phone, and I'm the happiest camper ever. I'm still on Twitter because just because I need to be, and Twitter is more of a um, conversation piece. Anyone can jump in. It's short and and sweet. Short, thank you, Melania. You took the words away out of my mouth. Short and sweet. Because Facebook, you can go on and on and on and on. And I know this after the political mishap, the days after (laughs) that, people were saying on and on and on about Facebook. And it's on Facebook about a certain person. And it's like, oh, my goodness, we need short and sweet. So that's why I deleted yes. my Facebook and del- and kept Twitter. Yes. And, you know, I also let go of my website I used to have, MelaniMcDonald.com. Uh, that was a website that was one that I was paying for the hosting and the space and putting the website up. And I realized, you know what, what I'm teaching people how to use are the free WordPress websites. So that's what I really should have, too. So I just let my paid website go, and now I have just my free WordPress website. One, that's the number one, melani.wordpress.com. Uh, one, M-E-I-L-A-N-I dot WordPress dot com. And this way now I'm actually showing an example to potential students or clients of what kind of website that they can have without paying a cent. Well, um, if easy to take I'm out. on a free website using webelief.com, you guys, free website. Oh, yeah. All I have to pay is the hosting fee for this podcast. But you can make a nice website using free. Thank you very much. You don't have to get into these $5 hosting fees or $10 hosting fees or $100 hosting fees. My website functions perfectly fine. And when um, my website goes down completely, I am going to actually... Now that I know what Milan is doing, I'm actually going to turn to the experts here and use Milani and say, help me create a WordPress website for my um, podcast because the power of free, you can do a lot with the power of free if you know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, and, and WordPress, there's also, like you said, Weebly, there's sites like Wix, there's you know, options out there, but I find WordPress to be very user-friendly, which is important to uh, my clients, that it's easy for them to use, easy for them to get into. And it's been pretty much like if you can use Word, Microsoft Word, if you've done word processing, it's very much like that. Although uh, they do have a change coming up, they're going to be starting to use blocks for everything. Uh, but that is actually going to be a good change, and it makes things much easier uh, because you can, for example, it will have a block for your your written content, a block for an image, a block for your little author bio. But then you can save that block as a template and then just drag the block onto the page. So uh, we got kind of a notification uh, that WordPress is going to be changing to, to using these blocks. Um, but I've used those before. In fact, my MelaniMcDonald.com website, which was a hosted website, I still used the WordPress architecture for it, and I was using a theme that was block-oriented because it made it very convenient and easy to use. And I... I think that my clients won't have too much of a hard time picking it up. It's still fairly fairly user-friendly. 
And when are you still there? I think I I think we got dropped. I will just keep talking in case this is recording. Uh, so you were going to ask me also, I think, you, when we were talking a little bit before the podcast started, what my biggest life lesson was. And the host you know, has joined the conference. Oh yay! You're back. Welcome back, Win. <laughs> well, I. The um, moment I talk about technology, it goes down. I've had issues <laughs> all day, you guys. As, as you guys will know, and that's what uh, we live on social media, and that's what my next question was going to be. How do we stop living on social media, and how do we stop living on a Wi-Fi money? Because you're the expert at it now. I'm not... Yes, but I've learned it from you. How do we stop living on social media, and how do we stop? How do we I'm stop sorry, stop here's living the second question. Social media. How do we well, stop living on social yeah. media? And before you say that, I'm just going to hit the record button just so I can record your answers. Okay. All right. So. How do we stop living on social media, Wynn just asked me. And I think that's going to be, you know, in a lot of ways, it's 